Okay, let's start this one off by changing some of our layout files. So into fragment view profile, we need to change this to the snippet here inside this relative layout to layout uh, center view profile. And then also go into layout view center profile and change this to center top view profile. And now those should be set correctly. So, okay, I'm going to close a bunch of these because don't need this all this open close colors close the list adapter and go into view profile fragment and set the layout to fragment view profile nope fragment view profile okay so what it'll look like is we go to the search screen we search a user so we'll search Mitchell Tabian click on him so now I'm at his profile and it's you can see now the widget is saying okay do you want to follow him but now we currently have no way to follow so that's I think that's kind of the first thing we need to do is set uh, give users the ability to follow so that when I click this I will submit something to Firebase and it will enter a follow is this actually my profile um, It looked like it went to the wrong profile, so I click on that, and oh, it's because it's just going, it's it's working correctly. It's just showing my stuff because it's not able to get the other user. So maybe that's actually the first thing we need to do is get the correct information, because right now it's pulling my information. It's not pulling the users from the bundle. So that's what we'll do. We'll get the user from the bundle and then set you know, their profile picture, their post, their followers, their following, all, all this information. Okay, so let's go down to the very bottom and in the setup Firebase auth method is where we actually get the user's information, which is the currently logged in user's information. So we're just going to delete this completely, everything inside the myref and add value event listener because that's not how we're getting the user. We're now getting the user from the bundle. So we're going to create a new method. Actually, before I do that, I want to comment out this too because we're not going to be getting the grid images like that and this let's comment out also and that should be good okay so let's create a method uh, so private void get user from bundle actually it's going to let's return a user object this is going to be you know the same as we always do so um, just print out the arguments get arguments and you can get the bundle so bundle bundle equals this dot get arguments and if the bundle is not equal null then let's return the contents of the bundle so bundle get parcel part no just parsable and get string r dot string dot intent user and if there is no bundle, we return null. And so we can use this method up inside here. Let's say we call it for. Let's do a try catch just in case for some reason something goes wrong and the bundle is null. So null pointer e log e. So we need to create a global user object. So let's go up to the top here and we can delete that. And we don't have a variable section. Private user m user. And here we can delete that too. Go m user equals get user from bundle. And that will retrieve our user. And for some reason it can't get the user, so if something goes wrong, we can say uh, that something went wrong. So if something went wrong, and then maybe just get activity, get support project manager, and pop that back stack, and navigate back to whatever we were doing previously. So now we're, we're ready to use our user, our user object that we got from the bundle, and set up the profile widgets. So let's create a new method, I'm just going to call it init, so private void init. And in init we need to, number one, get his profile, all of his profile details, so 
everything inside the user account settings node in other in other words and then we need to do another query and get all of his uploaded photos that he's uploaded so uh, I guess number one set the profile widgets and number two will be get the user's profile photos it's the ones that, that he's uploaded in other words so we're gonna need a database query I'm just gonna grab one from over here it's gonna grab this query so I don't have to type it all out and paste that in here and we need to reference the user account settings node and once again we are looking for oh no we're looking for the field user ID this time and equal to user dot get user ID so we're getting his account settings and then we will have found the user and this will be user account settings and so in here we can do user actually we can do user settings settings equals new user settings so remember this user settings object is the user object and the user account settings object combined into one so settings I can do set the user to m user and then settings dot set the settings set settings to the user account settings which would be this right here stick that into there so then we have his account settings and we also have the user object and then we can create a new method uh, called set oh we already have set profile widgets that's great and we can pass the settings and so in set profile widgets if we scroll down we can just take a quick look at it that's going to set all of his widgets so the display name username website description posts following followers and progress bar all that stuff which is great that should all be good okay and so now query number two is going to be basically getting all of his profile all of his photos that he's uploaded and then we're going to use setup grid view to set up the grid view actually this looks pretty much exactly what we need all of this I'm just gonna copy this everything inside setup grid view here because I think this is actually exactly what we need I don't think we need this photos array let's go up and so down below here get the user profile photos I'm just gonna paste everything here and let's scroll up and I'm just gonna create a local array list inside here so private oops not private um array, array list of photos just go photos just new array list of photos uh i don't think i need to change any of this actually oh that's why i had that um that photo array list of photos up top okay so get that out of here and put that up here and oh it's still final okay well then we can we can put that back into here and I'll create a new method with all of this contained in it so I'll snip that and create a new method private void setup image grid and it'll take final array list of photos and just do photos and paste all that in there and then that will take care of that and then I can just call this to set up image grid and pass the photos okay and this is mad because it's the same name so I'm just gonna go reference to query two this will be reference one query one reference one query one and this is the reference to query two that should be good and we can actually delete that old setup grid view method so I can delete this just copy all that or highlight all that delete it not needed and that should actually be good I think yeah I'm not 100% sure so let's just run it and see what kind of errors we get and then just fix them fix them as they come a lot of code here I can't remember exactly everything. Okay, so go to the search and let's search Mitchell Tabian because that's not who I'm logged in with and click him. And it looks like it's trying to do stuff. Oh, I didn't call init, that's why. 
Uh, so yeah, init was never called. So here we need to call init, and that should do it. Okay, search Mitchell Tabian. Click. Cool. Definitely got the right profile. I don't know if those images are correct. Let's check Firebase. So Mitchell Tabian is uh, C A eight. So user photos. I don't have any. He doesn't have any photos. So that's not right. That's not grabbing the right ones. So let's see. It's probably querying the currently logged in user. Yeah, so here it's getting the currently logged in user, which is not right. We need to do m user get user ID, and then that will get the so that. But otherwise, otherwise it looks like it's working correctly. I don't think he has any other details. So if I look in uh, user account settings, and he has oh yeah, there is a descript. Oh no, it's this one. So yeah, no description, no website. So it is getting the right information. You can see there's no description, no website, nothing like that. Um, yeah, so it should be good now. So this is a good place to stop. And in the next one, we will implement the ability to follow. So when I click on this, it will insert a request, insert data into the database and follow this user. So I will see you guys in the next video.